Welcome back to the Empty Chamber 556 channel. We got another Real Dime review. We got the Arrogant Bastard Ale. You're not worthy, but it's only. What is it? 7.2. <laughs> and it's not zooming into it. There it is. It's only 7.2%, so it's not really that arrogant. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe you guys uh, should not get a logo that looks like stone. I think this might be stone. I don't know. Well, let's see. <clears throat> ah, let's get this out of here. Here we go. How's it going? Hey. Week off. This was supposed to be yellow. Yellow. It's very dark. It smells pretty good. Looks like a Belgian. Yeah. Ooh, hit me with that. It's got a good head. It's a very cool can. It's very, uh, was that, like a matte finish on it? Yeah. That's cool. Usually the bottles are pretty cool, too. <clears throat> I actually had a description view of this one over the summer. Hmm. So you've had this one before? I've had it before. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, it smells like a uh, Belgian. I, what does this say? Uh, it's pretty dark. Like It's like dark brown. Like, if I put it up to the camera, you probably can't even... It probably can't even tell. It just looks pure brown, too. Pure brown. Pure brown. Drink fresh. It looks like um, what the toilet looks like after Taco Bell. Mm. Ooh. It's got that really like malty, yeah. tingly taste right up front, but it's got a good clean finish. Mm -hmm. it's, You're not worthy. It's straight. It's straight malt in the beginning. Like it's stays on your tongue. It's got a good, good foam still on it. A good head, it's still there. It doesn't fizzle away. Usually, you know, beer's pretty good when it's got a good head like that. That stays up there like that, fresh. <sighs> this is the first time I ever had it in the can. I've never seen it in the can where we live. We don't really get this one. I don't remember where this is from. I'm not too big a fan of very multi beers, but this isn't too San bad. San Diego, California. So there you go. Pretty decent lacing on it, too. Staying on there. Yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty good. It, it, you know what? It, it tastes like that Belgian beer we had with the big cork. Uh, St. Bernardus? Yeah, but this is a little bit more tingly, I guess you'd say. It's more malty. Yeah. A lot more malty. To me, this tastes like pure malt in the beginning, which I'm not that big of a fan of, but at the same time, it's not bad. I could drink a couple of these. Not the worst, not the best. No. It sticks in your tongue a lot, but it does have a clean finish, which is pretty nice. I mean, really it comes down to a, a nice... <laughs> i seen a guy, when he does his reviews, he takes a picture of the bottle and he goes like this, and he, somehow it stays on there, I don't know. He's a magician. I guess. He's a maniac. He's, He's a madman. Mad man. <laughs> Are you a madman? Are you a madman? We'll see by the end of tonight. Ah, uh, whatever. I can't do it. <laughs> so. uh, it's it's not bad, though. Like, usually with a good beer, it comes down to um, if it leaves a bad taste in your mouth and if you can drink a bunch of them. It's a decent beer. I don't see myself drinking six of them. Yeah, but... I As mean, a six-pack, they, they make a six-pack of these right here. I could see maybe having two or three of these maybe at a bar or something. Or... This would probably be good on tap. Like, a really fatty meal. Yeah. Like a steak. Yeah. It's very steaky kind of beer. Steaky. Steaky kind of steaky. beer. Steaky. <laughs> but yeah. It's it's not amazing, not mind blowing. Uh That's right, not let bad. me let me take another sip then I'll give it a review. Yeah, I'll do the same. Very malty. Yeah, it's so malty. <laughs> Tingly. Tang. Yeah, the more you drink it though, is. it does stay there. It stays on your tongue. Yeah, still. it, it kinda like coats your tongue. So it's like when you have like a fatty piece of deer meat or something like that. Ugh. Something like could use some jerky right now. Yeah, something that'll linger <laughs> on your tongue. Think of anything really fatty that'll linger on your tongue. That's what it feels like. There's Tyson. Tyson, he's always here. <laughs> Trying to get on the couch. He's not going to get on the couch. So. Backing up, reverse. Need All right, some well, beeps for that one. Um, three, two, one, six. six. Oh, there you go. Safe. <laughs> so above average. Not the greatest. Not amazing. 
but um, it's not bad. It's worth trying. Maybe you'll like it better than us. Who knows? Yeah. <clears throat> It's one of those. Like, when we give it, like, sixes or six and a halfs or anything like that, it's always down to taste. Like, we're, a six uh, or six and a half to us could be, like, an eight or a nine to yeah, you guys. Yeah, we're or three or critiquing four. the shit out of the beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, a seven or eight is, like, a beer that I go to the, go to the store and buy all the time. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, I, the, the beer of the year... We, Fire seven! We both rated it seven and a half. But I love that beer. It's good. Yep. So... It's definitely one that you can have a lot. Subscribe, like, and share my channel, guys. I'm going to put See a you. link down below if you want to contact me. And have a great one.